Hey guys, how are you today? All right, so we're here to do this month's design team challenge, which is al an altered playing card. Uh, took, I took direct inspiration for the prompt from my friend Ann Williamson's Facebook group. They do some really beautiful altered playing cards in the group, and so I thought, well, we should give it a shot. <laughs> I happen to have this drawer of playing cards. I have all kinds. I have jumbo giant, giant ones. I've got owls. I've got cupcakes, these round ones, pink ones, these vintage um, playing cards that have these interesting, like, sayings or quotes on them. Um, I've got bunches of these old-fashioned like reproduction cards. Um, I've got these mini, mini ones with fairies on them. So I think we're going to take a couple different um, kinds of cards and put them together and make a couple of tags. And I'm really kind of wanting to take these round ones with some of these birds and put them together. So I think we're going to do that. The idea behind the prompt, of course, is to use things from my Etsy shop, rubber stamps, digital downloads, and share them with you all and show you what you could do with them. And there'll be links to my um, Etsy shop in the description below, along with links to the other design team videos. Um, they will have used digital download images or some of the stamps or something like that, or maybe all of the above, all right? So let me put this drawer away and we will get to making some cards. I, all righty. I love this little bird. He's, he's so cute. All right, so we're going to take these pink cards. I love this round deck. I don't know where I got it from. Probably Dollar Tree because I see these little shaped cards at Dollar Tree and I just can't help myself. <laughs> so I think we're going to save the pink side because I really like it. We're going to turn them over and I want to cover this side with some um, paper. This is a sheet from one of my planner sets that's available in the Etsy shop. These are copies of some feather paintings that I've done. Um, resized and reimagined onto this um, sheet of collage paper. Um, you could, of course, print it on cardstock to use as your, in your planner, too. And um, we're going to use this, and I'm going to turn this over. And I think. See, what I have, I, have, I think I want to use my Creative Station, but I don't remember if there's sticker paper in here or laminate paper. So let's do a test first. And let's find out, because I have no idea. I'm just going to take a scrap of paper from the trash. And let's find out. It might be sticker paper, but it might not be. I don't know. It is laminate paper. But I think that will work. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. I have something else I could use. See, sometimes just picking the glue is like a big deal. Let's use our ATG gun. I'm really kind of wanting to use dry glue because some of this paper is kind of thin. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put some ATG tape on the back of the card. And then around the edge and then down the center. And then we're going to just stick it. Just stick it down. I'm going to do three of them. And I will probably send two of them out as racks, random act of kindness. Okay, we're going to stick this one. Just stick it right there. That'll work. All right, now let's cut those out. So one of the reasons I wanted to use a dry glue is because this is um, inkjet printer paper and if you get it too wet it is going to bleed. So we don't want that. 
So I'm going to just carefully here go around the edge. That is cute already. I can just see that with the bird on there. Yep, yeah. all right. I'll save this piece because I'll do something with it later. Nice thing about the digital downloads are that you can buy the file. Most of them are around $2. Some are a little less, some are a little more but you can buy the file and then you own it and you can print it over and over and over again. Whether you use it in your planner or you use it in some journaling or you use the collage papers as part of a project like this one. Oh, that's cute too. You know, I got out this black stays on ink pad with the idea of using it on here now. I'm not, I don't know if I want to now. <laughs> oh, isn't that the way of things? It's always when I'm on camera. Change my mind mid project. Pretty typical. Oh, that's cute too. I love that. All right, so those are our, they're our base. I love those. I have a bunch of little bits and pieces. I've got these other stickers here that I was thinking we would put on this side. This is a different digital download sticker sheet, but now I don't know if I want to. Okay, I do want to punch a hole in the top of this round tag. That I know. And I do think I want to punch a coordinating hole in the bird card. I think I want it to be right where that music note is at. So let's do that on all of them. This is just your standard office supply hole punch. Okay. I'm thinking I want to stitch around the edge. And I'm thinking I might want to, yeah, I want to stitch around the edge. So I'm going to get out my sewing machine and I will be right back. Okay, this is my little small Janome machine that I use just for stitching on paper. Now I've already stuck some glue on here, which is might, might be a problem, but we're going to do it anyway. I'm going to get really close to the edge of the card, like an eighth of an inch, and I'm just going to sew all the way around the edge. yeppers I like that okay normally I fast forward through these things but we're not going to do that today I lost a bird somewhere and that's totally cute we're gonna move the sewing machine out of the way so cute love it alrighty so we have our birds got some words. The words are also part of uh, my digital download file, uh, file, different files. There's one that just has words, two sheets, one with one with no background and one with a background. All of the digital, digital download files are all um, formatted to fit on certain Avery um, sticker sheets and the um, not, um, the type of sticker sheet it's made to fit on 
is in, part of the description and the title of the digital download. Um, this one's like pretty well used up and having obviously having issues. So I do think I want to do something like this. I like that. I'm still debating about putting this as one of these on the back. I don't think I want to though. I have a bunch of different little bits and pieces I've just been kind of collecting. Um, they've just been pi kind of piling up to be honest. Little tassels and so let's use some of these on here. Let's see. That one's cute. I pick up these little bits and pieces like everywhere that I go. I swear to God, it's just really hard to just say, you don't need that. At some point I have to say it, but let's see. I'm going to do this one, this one, and maybe that one on there. What else do I have floating around in here? I have some fun um, safety pins. And I also have some feathers. But I don't know. I think I want to just use the safety pins. I know I want to use a word. Some of these labels have two words, some have one word. Let's get the little tags off of here. Little twisty, wiry things. That are, we were originally holding these to their packaging. Let's throw those away. Wondering about these labels. Let's see. I don't think I want to use them. I like the way the feather paper looks. That's just so cute. Okay, sorry. I have to stop going over, um, going uh, on about the feather paper. Okay, let's take. So some of these labels have two words on them, and some have one. So on the two word labels, you can just cut the words apart. And I'm going to put fly on one bird. And let's see. I have hope. And joy. Time to print another label, a sheet of labels, I think. <laughs> so I have these um, safety pins. These are um, safety pins without a um, little thing at the bottom. They look like a little light bulbs. I got them um, on Amazon, but you can get them in Etsy. Um, I forget what they're called, but I'll try to remember to put a link in the description below along with the link to my Etsy shop. I think I'm going to use a black one. Black, black. Yes, I think we're going to use black. And I'm still thinking I want to add something else to these tags before we call it done. Let me think about it and I'll be right back. I do think I'm going to take this Sharpie pen. This is just a plain Sharpie pen, fine point, uh, medium point. And because it's a Sharpie, it should write pretty well on the glossy surface of the greeting card. I'm sorry, the playing card. That is not a greeting card.
So because the playing cards are slick, I do want to make sure on the glossy slick side that whatever I'm using is waterproof and will stick well. I am going to edge the cards with a little bit of black stays on. And I do think we're going to put a, one of my stamped images on here somewhere. There we go. That's better. Sharpie pen. This is a gold water based Sharpie. I do want to get some fibers out for some ribbon or something and I actually have some that I made. Let me see if I can get it out. Hang on, I'll be right this back. Is, um, some fibers I made out of cutting apart um, old fabric and scarves and things and um, this is extra that I had. So I was thinking to use a piece or two of this. This dark blue one is silk. And that's how you make those strips, FYI. <laughs> okay. really kind of want a purple to go with it. So that's in a different box. This is also silk. This is some recycled silk. So I'm going to cut, these are, I don't know, what is that, six or eight inches. I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to shove it through the two holes on the playing cards. You might need help getting it through the hole. You might need to get out a pokey tool or something like that. There we go. So then I'm going to take the loopy end and pull the cut ends through the loopy end. And then I'm going to take my little safety pin and one of my little tassels. See, now that color doesn't look good now on there. Yay, yay, yay. They're too big. Oh, there's a purple one. 
that'll work. So then I'm going to put the safety pin through the holes also and then attach it at the top here. So then you have these cute, this cute tag that you could use as a gift tag or you could write a message on it um, or just, you know, have it stuffed in a journal pocket. They make cute little pieces for happy mail. If you're going to paint on these, which you could also do, you probably want to um, sand the surface a little bit and then cover it with some gesso. Um, and that's so that, oops, that's so that um, the paint will stick to the slick surface of the card. I did that wrong. <laughs> Why didn't you guys say anything? Okay, I spent more time talking and being interrupted <laughs> than anything, but there we go. Here are our altered playing card tags. Aren't they super cute? I love that they're multi-layered. I love that they're messy and grungy. I love the way that feather paper turned out. That is super cute with the stitching on the back. You could still put a sticker back there if you wanted. You could use these as a gift card or just as a journal insert. They're super cute. I am going to gift two, at least two of them. And I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do with digital downloads and things from my Etsy shop. And the list the, of links for the places to get different things I've used is in the description below. If I forgot anything, let me know. Leave a comment. I'll answer it. That's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later.